You know what time it is, right? It's Olight sale time. Yeah, we got all sorts of stuff coming up. The first big, big sale for Olight this year, 2024. We're gonna throw these over on the, the workbench here and take a look at them. Let me know what you think. And then we'll tell you about pricing and stuff. So there's, there's what we got. Now, first of all, let me take this one out, put it to the side. This, this is my, my light that I, I keep at my desk. I use all the time. This is the Arkfeld Pro. And the, what makes it the Pro is it's a little bit bigger, got a little bit beefier, uh, beefier battery. Uh, and it's got the, the flashlight side of it. It's a basic flashlight. Then I can switch over and I got a laser. I can switch over and then I've got, you can see black light on it as well. So I can find those scorpions and bugs. And I actually find, end up using it for a lot of different stuff. I love the slim design because it fits in my pocket, but this has been my go-to. But then, then they came out with this. This is just pretty. Look at that. Can you say Toyota? And I'll explain it. If you don't get the Toyota reference, I'll explain it here in just a minute. But it, it's essentially the same thing, just in a different paint job. We got the flashlight. We got your laser. And we got the black light. Again, don't shine the black light. Don't, these things are actually for a black light uh, or UV light. I keep calling it a black light. It's a UV light. These are ridiculously powerful. All right, uh, so don't get them at your eye. I'm, I'm trying to be careful. I don't even shine them at the lens of my camera because I could burn out the camera. Uh, the, uh, they're nice, they're useful. I find all sorts of uses. Do some research if you don't know what they're good for. And you can find uh, uses for like setting uh, different types of glue, uh, for finding, again, scorpions and other bugs that reflect off of it. I've used it for like, I know that pieces of plastic, I lost a a thin film of plastic somewhere in the shop. You sit it down, it disappears. I turned off the lights, went around with this thing on a, basically pointing on the, on the edge, going around and the, the unfinished edge of the plastic just lit up. And I was able to find it that way. <laughs> Otherwise I would never have found it. I don't even remember sitting it down or being in that part of the shop, but there it was in the flashlight, well, my other flashlight found it, but I think this might be my new go-to. I don't know, I really I really dig this one. Let's take a look at the other ones again. So that we're looking at here then is the standard arc felt. Now this is flashlight only. And then, uh, so you got your different flashlight settings. There you can see the different settings on it. Uh, and then it's got the UV, no, no laser on this one. Uh, it is a little bit smaller. Let me put the two next to each other and you can see what I mean. So it's a little bit shorter. I think the, sorry, the magnets keep pushing the other one away. Uh, as far as width, uh, let's see, there we put those two together. They, they seem to be about the same. Yeah, I guess they are the same there as far as that's concerned. And, and from this side, they're the same. So it's just the length that's different. And then also, there's a little bit of a bump. If you can see a little bit of a bump right, right there. It, it's, all, it's negligible. It's not really an important thing to, to add. I just wanted to comment about it. I, I like these, but having the laser in there for the extra use and more battery and stuff, that's why I go, I, I carry the Pro. These are good, but you know. And then also let's talk about, they came out with some knives. This is the knife they sent me. This is, oh, they, you don't know, they come with like these little challenge token kind of things, or challenge coins. They're, uh, I don't know, I don't collect them, but maybe you do. Uh, so we got the access style lock, you got the thumb stun on it. Uh, that's your only uh, controls. As far as the clip there, it's not super deep, but it's not bad. It's a decent clip. You can swap it to the other side. It's not reversible as it were. Uh, pull that back, flip it out, look at that. It's almost straight razor esque, uh, but it's and I, I do like. There's a little bit of anodizing around this stud here. Let me see if I can get it up here and show you. A little bit of blue anodizing matches the blue over here. This matte green is just luxurious. Uh, again, we got you know contrasting with the the stainless. I think it's stainless steel. I could be wrong. I'm kind of just guessing there based off of the, the sheen off of it. And then the blade itself. Let me see. Let me get out my my specs here and take a look at the blade. On the blade we've got 154 cm, and then it's the Roboto 2, that's R-U-B-A 
T-O, Roboto, whoops, too close. Roboto 2. I like the grind on this. I do. And then the, I think this is the steel on it, KN7368AZO. This is a nice, it's a very elegant kind of knife. And the edge on that, that's got a good edge. I like it. You know, it gets away from the standard kind of drop point kind of design. And the jimping across the top is aggressive and excessive. But I wouldn't call it overly excessive. I like it. It's, I could get my finger all the way out there and still have a, a grip on it. But you can see that I was talking about the jimping on this. This is really good. Anyway, let's, let's jump through. Let me show you the sale on the website. We can talk about prices and stuff like that, all right? So what we got here is the 19th anniversary sale. Uh, it starts uh, on uh, the 14th uh, in the evening. Uh, I think it was 8 p.m. Eastern time. I could be wrong on that. Anyway, uh, so some of the, the, the highlights here, I'm going to call it. Of course, the I got to call out the Arcfeld Pro that I showed here. This thing is coming up. It's on sale down from like was $100 down to 75. So you're saving 25 bucks on it. Uh, and based on my time here, it's gonna launch three hours and three minutes and 33 seconds. Uh, so this is, I think this is just the go-to standard here on the sale. Now, uh, if, I mentioned the, the Toyota thing. And if you're older, you're gonna get the Toyota reference. But for some, and if you saw the newer Toyota stuff, you're gonna get it. But there's something called the Toyota Stripe. Okay, and that is using the same colors. You got a red, an orange, and a yellow. As you can see on this, we're doing red, orange, and yellow. And like they even, I remember it was on the original like Forerunners. You used to see this all the time. And man, if you own this car, it it you pretty much have to buy this flashlight. It might be a law. I'm not sure. Go check out Leda's Law. Ask him. He can probably clear that up for you. But I think it might be federal. Anyway, if yeah, if you own a Toyota. I don't see how you don't buy this flashlight to go with your rig. That would be super cool. And I, and I love the retro stripes. I know uh, I had a buddy who, who back in the day had the Toyota with the stripes. We we for, we didn't call them retro back then for some reason. I can't imagine why. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, it, it's a classic look, and I really enjoy it. Uh, let me know what you think. And, I mean, I don't even own any Toyotas. I haven't owned a Toyota in Oh my gosh, it's a long time. I'll have to go back and think on that one. It's been a while. All right, and now I will say this. My favorite that I've had for the longest time, is if it'll load here, here we go, is the Baton 3, okay? Now, this is just your classic everyday flashlight. This thing just works and works. It feels good in the hand. Uh, there's, there's nothing like super cool gadgety about it. It goes up to 1,500 lumens. 175 meter throw, 120 day runtime if you got on the moonlight setting. Uh, and they got this nice little bracket that goes with it. You can either put screws in it or you can use the adhesive on the back. And it just lets you like mount it someplace, hang it next to the front door. So as you're walking out the front door, you can grab it. This is a go-to kind of flashlight. And up until I got the Arcfeld, this was my EDC flashlight. Now another one, if you want a little more oomph in your hand, coming in at 2600, uh, yeah, 2600 lumens. Uh, this thing's going to throw a distance of 630 meters. This is a serious flashlight, all right? It's a good bit bigger than the baton. It's got this rubber retaining ring that is removable and, and adjustable and stuff. Uh, this And the end of this thing, it will get hot, all right? If you have it on full power for a while, it's gonna you got to be careful with it. This is, again, it's a serious flashlight. It's a tactical flashlight. I believe it comes with the, the plastic kind of belt holster thing there. Uh, so if you're looking for something that does a bit more than the baton, this is it. Normally, uh, what is it, 130 bucks? You're saving 32 dollars on this, coming in at 97, 80 it was 97.99, 98 dollars. Call it what it is. All right. Next up, we've got the Ola. I love this. I I, I have this on some of my uh, units, as it were. You know, we got to dance around some language here. PL-3R Valkyrie Valkyrie rechargeable rail mounted tactical light and, and what i love about this is they've got other ones there at, at olight that take the uh, the cr132s or whatever the, the little the little high power batteries this uses the same kind of rechargeable battery tech that the flashlights use which means i'm looking for the flashlight that on the end of the flash on the bottom of the side you're going to get one of these little let me cover it up there so it's not trying to see my face you're going to get one of these 
uh, kind of circular uh, charging port. So you can use the same kind of thing. Magnetic, you just swipe it by, it jumps up, clicks onto it, and starts charging. It's got the regular uh, if, uh, the finger actuators, and then it's also got the remote actuator in case you're going to put it on something a bit longer, if you, you get what I'm coming at there. Uh, you're looking at a normal price of 100 bucks. This is $30 off, taking it down to $70, $69.99. Uh, this is a solid light. I, I love this light. My brother, who is a uh, retired Marine, uh, he uh, recently retired. He ran this on uh, all his uh, his uh, personal stuff, and most of the guys that he know were rocking O-lights. I get a lot of people are like, you know, real pros wouldn't use these. Uh, yeah, yeah, they do. Uh, then we got the, uh, the Otacol A1 multifunction hatchet. Now, if you guys saw my views from or my videos from last year, uh, Olight sent me this hatchet. I love this hatchet. Uh, all except for one thing, and that is this thing right here. That little, uh, the nail puller on the end, pry bar kind of thing. I don't need my hatchet to do that. And I actually took mine uh, to my uh, my bench grinder and rounded off the corners on that so that, because I found that sometimes as I was grabbing stuff, I might snag myself here or reach it into a box. Not the, the look I'm going for. I don't need that. But other than that, love this thing. It, it is, it's cool. It's slim. Uh, it's nice and sharp. It's well weighted. Uh, I, I think it's great for $52, saving 28 bucks. I, I think that's a, a definitely a go-to. And the sheath that comes with it is nice too. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, and then the DIY, uh, was it the Bundle Freeze E2? This is, I think, a slightly different color of the version of the one they sent me. Uh, no, it's different. So it does have the blue, but uh, no thumb stud and whatnot. It's a standard drop point on that one. This is coming in at $100, not an inexpensive knife at all. Then we've got the uh, the Spur Dog Everyday uh, Full. I like the texture on this. Uh, that's kind of nice. It's, got, it's a flipper with a lock. That is pretty cool because uh, one of the things I, I have against flippers like that is that they have a tendency to open in my pocket. And since they're usually point up carry, you go to reach in, if it's got bumped, you're gonna get a little, little bite there from it. It's happened to me a, a number of times. Yet I still carry them because it's the best style of carry yet. But uh, that little lock there, that adds a nice little bit of you know safety so that sort of thing doesn't happen. It doesn't accidentally deploy. Uh, this one's coming in at $59.99 on that one. Uh, then we got the uh, Roboto 2. This is the one I just showed you, of course, in different colors here. Uh, they got it in carbon fiber. They got it in micarta. Oh, that would have been cool to see it in micarta. But I got to tell you, the aluminum with the green, it is just, as I said, luxurious is, is the word that I had to use for it. It is a nice, nice feeling knife. I like the edge on it. Uh, 154CM uh, sheep's foot EDC folding knife. Uh, st was that's the 154 CMs of stainless steel. Uh, stainless steel, you can go back and forth whether stainless steel is good on knives, what stainless steel you should use. It does make uh, you know upkeep on these a little bit easier. It is overall, it's 7.15 inches closed. It's 4.22. Now that's going to be important because a lot of you check your local states at three inches kind of seems to be the limit. Uh, that's what your wife said. Anyway, um, <laughs> good couldn't help myself. I'm a bad man. Anyway, point is, uh, just make sure you're not uh, going to get yourself in trouble with one of these. They're, they're solid knives, but uh, again, just want to make sure that you stay safe. And you know what? If you want something a little bit cheaper, they've got, let me see here, they got the Roberto uh, 3 EDC with, look at this, with the little mini flashlight here. So you're getting this little sucker here with the drop point, with the axis. Uh, that's a nice, good, everyday carry knife there. Coming in at $21.60 off, down to $50.38. Okay, by the time you are seeing this video, the sale should be live, all right? Anyway, I wanna thank uh, Olight for sponsoring this video. We got links and everything down below. Go and check them out. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. You all take care, God bless, and as always, shine on.